Welcome to episode one of how to fly FPV. And in this series, I'm gonna teach you my system of how to get good at flying FPV fast. I'm gonna assume that you have absolutely no drone flying experience at all. And I'm gonna take you from a day one beginner all the way to a proficient FPV pilot or even a pro like Mr. Steele or Johnny FPV. So we're here in the studio right now because we can't get out into the field and fly until we've got something to fly. So that's what we're going to discuss in today's episode. What should you buy? How much does it cost? Where can you get it from? And then we're going to be all set to be able to get out and learn all the skills that you need. One thing you could do is just go to a gadget shop or a toy shop and buy a cheap drone to practice on for 30 or 40 pounds. And that's okay, but if you want to skip that step and get straight away into something a bit more serious, I'd recommend one of these. And this doesn't look very serious, does it? It looks like a little toy drone, but actually this is a fully capable FPV drone with a camera that transmits to the goggles and you can do all the different maneuvers with this and it's a great little drone to learn on. And even when you're really good, it's still brilliant fun to fly. So this is called the Tiny Hawk S. You can buy this actually as a full set with goggles and a controller. I'm gonna recommend that you only buy the drone itself. Just the drone and some batteries. And the reason why is because this is going to last you throughout the hobby and we're going to connect it to your own controller, your own transmitter. I fly a Tyrannus X9D. This is a Tyrannus QX7. And I would happily fly this instead of my X9D. This can last you all the way to being a pro pilot. It's a great radio. It's pretty good, reasonable value. It costs about £100. And this will connect to your Tiny Hawk. And this costs about £80. Maybe with the extra batteries, you're about 200 pounds in and you're all set for a great experience with gear that will last you throughout the hobby. It's very popular advice to use a simulator and that's definitely something you can do with your Tyrannus. You can connect it to your computer, download a program like Velocidrone and practice on that simulator to be able to get good before you ever fly a real drone. However, just personally, I don't find the simulators very good. The graphics aren't that good. They actually make me feel kind of nauseous. And I know other people have said the same thing to me in the past. And also, sadly, it just doesn't really reflect truly what it's like to fly an FPV drone. So personally, I think that could totally put you off. If I'd flown a simulator before I'd flown the real thing and I thought, oh, this is what it's like, I would have been totally put off and I wouldn't have gone any further. So uh, simulators are a great tool and maybe, you know, spend 20 minutes on the sim just getting the feel for those stick movements. But simulators aren't always the answer. And this is an alternative where you get to just go out and fly and practice without having to use the sim at all. Now, the last thing you're going to need to be able to fly FPV, because after all, FPV stands for first person view. And to get that first person view, you're going to need a set of video goggles. That's the amazing thing about this hobby getting that experience of being a bird. These are the Fat Shark Dominator V3s. And I was able to pick these up for about 120 pounds. They were second hand, but in great condition. And they used to sell for sort of three, 400 pounds when they were new out, but you can basically pick these up second hand for between 100 and 200 pounds, um, depends. But yeah, Fat Shark Dominator V3. These are the goggles I'd recommend getting. If you can afford it, get some better fat sharks because they actually don't make the Dominator V3 anymore. So you could just go straight for the HDO2 and get the best goggles for analog possible. And you know, you can spend whatever you want really in this hobby. So with this system that I'm showing you today, really it's about kind of getting in the air for a good price, not committing to spending too much before you have a good experience. There'll be a link in the description to where you can get this gear. Um, but if you're struggling to get hold of it, then I'd recommend going on Facebook and looking at Drone Junkyard, which is a second-hand selling page for people who are selling their old drone gear. Of course, if you want to, you could buy all the most expensive and best gear. You could go straight for a 5-inch drone a quad with uh, HD in it. You could get the DJI FPV system, and you'd be looking at sort of one to two thousand pounds. If you can afford it and you want to do that, go for it. That will also work. But do your research, look on YouTube and Google, and if you find better gear or you get better recommendations, go for that, it's up to you. But this is the system that I'm recommending today. And this is all based on experience and knowledge. So if that helps, give us a quick thumbs up and I'll see you next time.